Listen. I understand. Lorraine, there is something I must discuss with you. What is it, Andreas? I have always thought Duke Hende admirable for not getting involved in the Council's infighting. But what if he is planning to seize control once the two dominant powers have worn each other down? Excuse me? Such an approach is not unheard of, and the way things unfolded in Dagland is odd indeed. What does the Empire's capture of a Southfield port have to do with factional disputes? Each faction has backed an heir to accede to the throne. But Duke Hende made no such move. Perhaps you can see what I am implying. You, you mean to suggest that Duke Hende has the Empire behind him? It would explain why Southfield was handed over with barely any resistance. But, but what proof do you...? The signs have been there the whole time. First, the jade taken from the thief Hadi Solbay was never handed in to the royal government. Then the Duke insists that we seek out more jade while undermining negotiations with the Alliance. The Empire wants Diofield's jade, and a weak alliance would help them get it. It fits. <sighs> it also likely means that we are in danger. What do you intend to do, Lorraine? I... Do not speak of this to anyone yet. Now is not the time for unnecessary risks. Ah! <sighs> uh. oh. Lorraine, what's the matter? Lorraine is unwell. I shall brief us in her place. My scout has sighted a group of Imperial troops heading north, although they do not appear to be an invading force. Nevertheless, the Lord's Council have given us permission to engage and prevent any further advance, if they reach Central Field. If we deploy to Barngor Marshes immediately, we should be able to intercept their front line. You seem unusually well prepared, Rias. This feels strange. What are you up to? Yes, what's this all of a sudden? Indeed. I see what Walter Quinn is getting at. Rias, just what exactly is going on? Let's talk about this after the battle. Matters that are unclear now will resolve once we engage the enemy. Hmm. Very well. Fine. We'll talk about this later. For now, let's make haste for Bangor Marshes. The Imperial Army are here, just as Andrea said. You must have some talent in your unit. Imperial intelligence is not easy to get hold of. Let's save the chit-chat for later, Shavat. The Imperials have wyvern riders in their ranks. Only a few, but we must remain vigilant. Yes, yes, all right. Understood. Magical. 
Must not enter Central Field. Do not let them pass. I've got it. Right away. Understood. Is that all you have? That an attack! Fall into ragged! Another photo of his Very well. A bit of a boost never hurts. Is that all you have? They are spreading out. We must maneuver to avoid being attacked from both sides. You're unusually enthusiastic today, Rius. You'll explain why later on, I suppose. Assuming we emerge victorious here. <laughs> Very well. Then we'd better get this over with quickly. I've got it. A bit of a boost never hurts. Get another photo. I understand. Understood. A bit of a boost never hurts. The enemy has been driven out. They put up less of a fight than I expected. We may even be able to take back Dagland if we pursue them now. No. For now, we return to Central Field. Oh. Why? I was just getting started. 
If we continue to press on in our current state, we'll be wiped out. Why would you say that? Because we would find ourselves surrounded. The Empire on one side, the Duke's army on the other. The Duke's forces? What are you talking about? Look at this letter. That is the Duke's seal, is it not? The Duke has been holding secret meetings with the Empire. I found this letter hidden on one of his soldiers. Damn them! Traitorous scum! So then, what shall we do now? Is it not obvious? We must bring the traitor to justice. I suppose it is the only way for us to survive. Are you with us, Quinn? Oh, yes. I have no reason to refuse. The Blue Foxes deployed to Barngor Marshes and routed a detachment of Imperial troops. Andreas insisted on the deployment, convinced that Duke Hende had secret ties to the Empire. He soon discovers their covert meeting place and finds a letter bearing the Duke's seal. Frederick is enraged at Duke Hende's betrayal and calls for his head, a sentiment Andreas shares. A troubled expression creeps over Iscarion's face as he becomes momentarily lost in his thoughts. While Walter Quinn seems eerily uninterested, unnervingly quiet and wholly unaffected. Following a brief discussion, however, the Blue Foxes agree that the Duke is to be executed. Listen, Lorraine. Yes, Andreas? The next battle will seal your fate, one way or another. We destroy the Duke, or the Duke destroys us. You must choose where your loyalties lie. I... I am a blue fox. Good. Thank you, Lorraine. Marita, I need to speak with you about the last mission. Yes? You did what was asked of you, including dealing with the Vanguard, but there was a complaint. To quote the other commander, your scout barely speaks. I cannot tell what she's thinking. I struggle to know if she understands what I'm saying. I need better communication. Oh, I'm sorry. I did not come here to have you apologize. After all, I myself have a similar disposition. No, you're different. You can communicate with just about anyone. That's why all the Blue Foxes look up to you, and why you were selected as a leader. That's enough about me. So, what is to be my punishment? I told you, no apologies and no punishments. I'll just find you a different role, that's all. I am sorry, I... Stop that. I will find a suitable role for you, and you will give it your all. All right? Right. Target confirmed. Andreas, I have a favor to ask. What is it? There's a military unit that serves a Southfield nobleman that I would like to have eliminated. Why? They were an enemy of my former knightly order, and it seems they carry that enmity to this day. Your former order being King Regalt's knights? Correct. Indeed, these mercenaries once attempted to assassinate the king. I had hunted them fruitlessly for years. It turns out they've been operating incognito. Then you need merely tell the noble who they really are. Alas, rumors suggest that he too 
harbors the same hatred of the royal government. You wish to have him eliminated as well? No. He's a cunning one. He'll disown his mercenaries as soon as they are defeated. And if he pleads ignorance, we will have no grounds to execute him. Indeed. I therefore wish to eliminate only the mercenaries. I understand. Got a moment. Well, well, well. Not bad. Ah! Oh. Hmm. Come now. But why would... So, anyway, I don't know. Let's see. plan, no? <laughs> hmm. Damn! What's the meaning of this? Yes, yes. Not bad! Never hurts. Yet another photo. Understood. Another one down. All according to plan. I understand. On my way. Very well. Target 
eliminated. Right away. Another one down. All according to plan. Understood. Boost never hurts. Give it a mere scratch. They just died. On my way. Fall into ranks. I will perform a magic ritual. Next time. I've got it. Boost never hides. A mere scratch. Fall into ranks. I will perform a magical ritual. Did a I mere scratch. Understood. A bit of a boost never hurts. Next target. I understand. 
it for boost never hurts. Fall into Ranga. I will perform a magical ritual. Fall into Ranga. I will perform a magical ritual. The boost never hurts. Here I go! Oh, they just died. achieved a greater grasp of my art. They are aware of our approach. Good. I'm curious, Andreas. Why did you agree to help me? This fight yields no benefit to the foxes whatsoever. You seldom make your own desires known. I assumed it must be important. But let us talk later. The enemy are coming. Yes. Never hurts. Fall into ranks. I will perform a magical witch next time. I understand. Right away. Bit for boost never hurts. Fall into ranks. I will perform a magical witch.
We have destroyed the mercenaries. Alas, we have no choice but to leave their patron be. That is of no consequence. He is powerless without his attack dogs. Then let us return. Andreas, I wanted to ask about the other day. The rout of those mercenaries? Yes. As you know, they were an organization I fought against as a knight. They killed several of my friends. And you wanted to settle the score, is that it? Yes. Forgive me. I ought not to have dragged the blue foxes into my personal vendetta. No matter. An enemy of the crown was expunged. And now... I better know the kind of man you are. I look forward to your future service, Donovan. I shan't disappoint you. Got a moment. We must make for Duke Hende's manor at once. Let us take him by surprise and finish this quickly. Yes, we will not report to the Lord's Council until after it's done. The Duke is not to be warned. Hmm. Duke Hende's manor has many a back door, the least guarded of which faces the woods to the west. If you sneak in through there, cross the back courtyard and go to the top floor, no. Wait. Your best bet to get to the Duke would be to head directly for his master bedroom. Lorraine, do you truly support our plan? I do. My mind is made up. Once the Duke is dead, what becomes of us? Iska, no longer need we serve as Duke Hende's pet army. We are Knights of the Lord's Council. An independent force. Do not forget that. The royal government is too fractured to deliver justice. And that is exactly where our services come into play. As long as the rain services are intermediary, there should be no issues between us and the Lord's Council. Very well. And you are certain that what we are doing is best for the people of the kingdom? From how I see it, I believe we are. Then, in that case, I'm with you all the way. Walter Quinn, what about you? Oh, I can't wait to get started. I haven't been this excited since we took back to Garia. Lorraine, coming to watch? <sighs> Enough, Quinn. We need to go. Intruders! Bandits are raiding the manor! Huh? What in the... You're the Blue Foxes! What are you doing here? We're up against a different class of enemy here. Makes sense. They are the Duke's knights, after all. I know. Isn't it wonderful? It's such a relief to know there's someone out there worth fighting. Enough, you two. We're pressed for time. Indeed we are. And our first objective is to capture the rear gate. Let's go!
very well. Taking control. Understood. On my way. Go on down. All according to plan. There are knights in the courtyard as well. Filthy things. They really do spoil the view. But look, over there. It seems to be their fortress. They clearly have no appreciation of sentiment. They'll need more than that to stop us. Those who would oppose Alatane must be crushed. Advance! Very well. the last barrier. We shall be at the house before long. Good. Then he shall soon have to answer to us. He's led us a merry dance, hasn't he? It's time for a little payback, I'd say. That horseman looks to be their commander. Once he falls, the others will follow. Once we find our way into the manor, we advance. Then I shall finish the job myself. I have no objections to that. You're best suited to it. We shall deal with the others. Very well. Fall into rank. I will perform a magical ritual. A bit of a 
Zeus never hides. Having slain his way through the guards, Andreas was finally face to face with Duke William Hendy. Putting aside the debt he owed, Andreas informed the Duke that he was a rebel against the state and was to be purged. Yet, rather than fall into Andreas' hands, the Duke took poison, electing death on his own terms. Andreas silently observes the Duke's final moments. Plummeting Star. The Blue Foxes present the Lord's Council with evidence linking Duke Hende to the Empire. They also report that he has paid for his treason with his life. The Council denounced the Blue Foxes' unilateral action, but with the factional conflict worsening apace, they are in no position to punish them for it. Duke Hende's death may have spelt the end for his faction, but the broader conflict rages on. Lord Councillor Kimball supports the second-born prince, Victor Shatham, while Lord Councillor Joshua is a staunch backer of the third-born, Starish Shatham. The dispute between their respective factions continues to escalate, 
becoming violent at times. And then, Rhaegout Shatham breathes his last, and the throne of Alatane lies vacant. It seems King Rhaegalt passed away yesterday. Yes, I heard. No doubt the scrabble to succeed him will now grow even more caustic and bloody. Second-born Victor and third-born Staris. What do you know about them? Prince Victor is aggressive, a man of pride, yet also a suspicious, jealous type. Prince Staris, on the other hand, is an opportunist, keen to avoid conflict when he can. Neither rival the talent of Prince Ivangar, and neither are fit to succeed their father. Most damningly of all, they both lack the mark of the blessed. <sighs> what would Levi do if he were in our shoes? You need not ask Rias. We already know the answer. The mark acts as proof of one's right to rule. And I should know. Might I bother you for a moment? Hmm. Why, yes. Oh. Of course. Ah, oh, I suppose so. Mm hmm What do you mean? No. Understood. Indeed. Andreas, I don't know what to do. What is it, Wrinkles? I heard from someone I know in Northfield. Their village is about to be attacked by monsters. And they're monsters from the frontier, too. The locals can't defend it on their own. Is this your hometown? No, it's not. But I will go there often, and I know everyone quite well. What part of Northfield is this? The Northwest, near the frontier. I doubt that we get there in time. Even if we left now. You mean... <laughs> Their only hope is to abandon the village. That would buy us some time. <sighs> right. So there's still hope. Only if we hurry. Now, go and get ready. You're dispatching the blue foxes. We'll be expecting a reward, of course. Uh, of course. What a... Excuse me. So, anyway... Uh-oh. I'm in for it now. You didn't come back to Elm last night, Castavir. What were you up to? I heard about an establishment in Northern Central Field that's famed for its beautiful girls. So I decided to go and see for myself. Our work was done. It was time for some sport. Was this place and territory once controlled by Count Horace? You keep tabs on this kind of thing too, eh? Nothing gets past you. Horace ran a brothel where young women he'd abducted were forced to sell their bodies. I had thought that all such venues had been closed down now that Duke Hende controls the region. Some yet remain. Anyway, before you jump to any conclusions, I spoke to the girls there. They're all very poor and had no other options. Times of strife require sacrifice, they said. And when I heard that, well, I had to act. I set fire to the place and pilfered all its takings. I gave the coin to the girls, helped them escape, and ran like hell. So you've been creating more trouble for us, I see. <laughs> I suppose they might work out that I did it. If that happens, I'll be sure to apologize. On your head be it. Uh, let me be clear. I have no regrets. I will never allow damsels to remain in distress. Be honest. 
You went there looking for a good time. But of course, had the girls been agreeable, I would gladly have enjoyed an evening together. <sighs> I despair. Oh. Unbelievable! How about this? No, well, uh, it's... it's. What's the meaning of this? This is a problem. <sighs> Please take care of it. I can't believe this. Thank you. Ever so remarkable. So, what do you think? Hey. Understood. This is a pro... You got a moment? I can't believe this. Hold on. The truth is... Can I ask you a favour? Ah, I suppose so. <laughs> uh... Hey, come on. Yeah. Indeed. Come again. Oh. That's why we must. Hmm. Alongside that. <laughs> Wonderful. Indeed. Fred, what's the meaning of this? Meaning of what? You ordered a massive cavalry training ground to be built in the Eastfield grasslands. That area was meant to be used for testing modern magic from the continent. Modern magic indeed. The kingdom of Alatane has its ancient sorcery. We ought to focus on what we do best. And besides, we lack trained cavalry. Modern magic is a weapon that both the Empire and the Alliance may wield against us. A weapon that is extremely easy to use. It would be unwise not to learn more about it. Ancient sorcery is more powerful. It won't be outdone by some fad that any fool can use. Really, Fred? Worry not, Rias. Alatain shall fight as Alatain does best. It's a noble thought, but it will see you left behind in this age of progress. On the contrary. It shall bring about a new kingdom for a new era. You had better steal yourself for the future, Rias. Listen, Fred. What? Never mind. <sighs> oh. How about this? Not bad. Oh. I expected no less. Understood. That seems to be the way of it. <laughs> How about it? Hmm. Hmm. Hmm? Mm hmm. What's this? Not bad. Got it. I hope this works out. However... Hey! Hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Ah. <sighs> How about something like this? How about this? Understood.
Uh, yes. What do you think? 